Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick release fence for a bandsaw or a table saw or a router table. This quick release fence is a very simple construction. It comes equipped with a T-track for adding on stop blocks and other jigs. When it's hooked onto the other end, it automatically self squares. As it locks into place, it squares up completely. Just one of these toggle clamps probably will set you back about $5 at the most. You just set it right in and lock it in place. Now, of course, you'll notice that I've got a zero clearance tabletop also installed on my Ryobi bandsaw, and that's part of this build. But really, the build today is about the fence. So I'm going to show you how I built this. Let's get to it. For this project, you need a few things. You can use three quarter inch plywood. Uh, this is a quarter inch thin piece of melamine that I'm going to use. It's double sided, so it's got a smooth side on both sides. You can use one sided melamine. That'll work fine as well if you're making a thin tabletop like mine. You need a toggle clamp for the clamping mechanism. I've got some scrap plywood as well that I'll need. I've got some thin quarter inch plywood that I'll use for part of this. We'll come back to that later. For the most part, I'm using plywood that I already have in the shop. Scraps for the most part, again, I love to use up scraps whenever I can. So I'm going to show you how to make really simple T-tracks for fences. In this case, I want a T-track at the top of my fence. That is so it allows me to attach jigs and stop blocks onto this fence. Each side of my fence is an inch thick, but that's probably overkill. You could definitely just use a three quarter inch piece of plywood. You might even get away with a half inch. You'll notice I cut a slot on the table saw on either side so on both halves they'll be facing each other you want to make sure that you do two passes especially if you have a thinner blade like i have that's so the head of a bolt like this you don't need any special t-nuts or anything just a ordinary flathead bolt can pass and run along that track now to complete it 
you're gonna need a piece of quarter inch material like this little piece of quarter inch plywood. You'll notice the quarter inch material is about the same thickness as the bolt itself. So what I'm going to do is sandwich it in between the two pieces and we'll have the perfect T-track. And that's without having to use a special router bit or anything like that. Well, that concludes building a self-squaring, quick-release fence and a zero-clearance tabletop for your bandsaw. Now, again, like I said at the top of this video, this self-squaring fence can be used for all kinds of applications, and I think I'm going to build another one for my router table because I like it that much. It's just so easy to use and really easy to build. Now, I've shown you how to make T-Tracks before using a special router bit, but this is how you do it without any router bit, and it's very, very simple. All you need is a quarter inch piece of plywood in between your two pieces of three quarter inch, or whatever you happen to be using. And it's really a simple couple of cuts on the table saw, and you're in business. You've got an instant T-track, and it's nice and strong. There's no problem getting a regular flathead bolt through it. I would really appreciate it if you would donate to this channel. Head on over to my donation page right over here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. There are a couple more videos on this side you can watch. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.